Rockstar Games has just announced the biggest update for the GTA Trilogy. There's good news and also bad news, let's talk about it in today's video. Make sure to hit the like and I will keep this video as short as I possibly can. All games in the trilogy, so that includes GTA 3, Vice City and San Andreas, are all getting a hefty update. All separately as well, with GTA 3 receiving a 1.4GB update, Vice City a 2 that 3 gigabyte update and San Andreas a 4 gigabyte update bringing major changes to the modern control improvements to the target and lock on aiming updated weapon and radio station wheels updated mini maps enhancing navigation updated destinations and also achievements and trophies players on PC using their Nvidia graphics card will be able to use the Nvidia DL LSS. But next to the fixes and performance improvements, I want to talk about some more changes. Players are taking advantage of the completely rebuilt lighting system, improved shadows, weather and reflection, higher resolution textures across buildings, weapons, roads, interiors and more. You might have noticed as well that not all the songs are in the game itself, some have been cut and there's new ones that have been added. When it comes to all songs, in three games spread over all the different radios I want to keep this video short so I will put a list with all the songs in the pinned comment of this video I also got some bad news and that's actually two things I want to talk about bad news for the GTA trilogy is definitely that Sony PlayStation just came out to say that they have completely cut the GTA trilogy definitive edition from the PlayStation store meaning it has been completely removed moved and you can't purchase it anymore right now. The reason of course being that PlayStation had the game purchasable earlier on but then there was a countdown timer and it went off way too fast making people play the game before the official release. And I do think that Rockstar Games was definitely not happy about that. Take Two of course had a big marketing strategy planned and they even had gameplay trailers released today. But that was of course way after a lot of gameplay had already been seen. And I don't think the impact is actually going to be as big as it originally was if there was not any gameplay around. And I think that is one of the reasons it was cut from the PlayStation Store. Of course, all three titles are made by Rockstar Games, but the remaster has been done by Grove Street Games, and they have not implemented the two-player version inside of GTA San Andreas, where normally you are allowed to play co-op in this specific location. Seeing this feature not returning really feels like the end of an era. With that being said, I really do appreciate it that Rockstar Games and Grove Street Games are working together to make this remaster possible. Seeing these remasters succeed really makes me think that Rockstar Games next project will definitely be GTA 4 as a remaster. There's rumors about it, there's leaks about it, nothing has been confirmed, but it would be a logical step. So next to the PlayStation incident, the GTA 5 trilogy worldwide release is going absolutely fine, with some minor bugs here and there, mostly caused by players using cheats in the story mode. If you do experience any game breaking bugs, let us know down below in the comments for Grove Street games to read. And if you're having a whole lot of fun, I of course like to hear that too. If you like these short to the point videos, hit the like on this video. Also, subscribe and turn on post notifications to do not miss out on any future GTA video. Two more videos on the screen, one for you to click on. My name is Cheese, I'm out. Peace.